Yeah, so we're on the boat now to St. Nicholas. Here we go. They give you a little iPad or a tablet with the thing and some headphones so you can read up on the history and do all the stuff. And we're going out to the water here. So are you ready? Yes, I'm excited. Finally something nice to do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to say something, honey? Say, say it. it. Say it. Say it. Tell say everybody it. how you are doing here. Tell everybody how you feel, what happened with your skin. <laughs> by that sailboat, right behind that sailboat. It's called Hitler's Eyes, and this was the safest bay in all of World War II in Croatia. So we're going there, this is the valley to get to the Chibani. And we're going to St. Nicholas, which was built for like 40,000 took, and uh, the king at the time sold it for like 100,000, all of Dalmatia. So just this fortress was 40,000, so that, that's a huge, huge expense right there. I don't know if he recouped any of his money, but hey, because he sold all of Dalmatia for a hundred thousand, but just this fortress he paid forty thousand. Wow! 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 And back from the edge, you need to go to another place before you get erased, lost in that endless chase. Thoughts are always racing. Depression is the case in every day you're facing. So this is the one called Hitler's Eyes. Hitler's Eyes, built by the Germans right here for the ships to enter in and out. It's a two-way tunnel, yes. So this is either the Uzlas, Ulas, or Islas. And this is the opposite one. So there's the entrance, there's the exit, or there's the exit, or the entrance. Who knows which one? And in one of these caves, you got a church built in there. A little small church built in a cave. So that's pretty cool. Look at this place. Absolutely incredible. Throughout all these hills and all these islands, they have tons of caves built in. Like Tito built a bunch of caves on Solta and by our, by our house on Giova. And uh, they're all over Croatia. There's actually one in Trogir that's in the mountains for the military. So they have all kinds of these caves hollowed out for boats and tanks and planes and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. There's lots of war history here in Croatia. I think this area in particular, the most wars in the history of the earth have happened here. So that's probably why they're so war savvy. Look at this, it's cool. There's Hitler's eyes, the two eyes there. See that? Hitler's eyes, so he can see everything going on. basically like a triangle you can actually get to it you can actually get to it from land but i think it's closed now because it's dangerous because the pathway is broken up from the sea but as you can see it is landlocked a little bit i'm sure you'd get soaking wet feet going there but this thing has lots of history look it up saint nicholas fortress shibani lots of wars has happened here and it's been restored it's a unesco world heritage site and it's one of many in Croatia. I think Croatia has like tons of them. Uh, this one was turned into a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with place in Kotar and Zadar. And um, look at this. Damn. It's amazing. And a lot of its original parts are still intact, so that's beautiful. And then you got this. You got people, see, if you go here, you can hike all the way through and probably get here. But it's crazy. This is... Shibani 
This is St. Nicholas Fortress and this is Bunjil. Like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Third time's a charm. We missed filming the two first two times, but they missed twice. It was good. And then the third time hit him in the face. So now we're entering the gates of the fortress. It's beautiful. Yay. At least we get to go in, huh? <laughs> Look at this. Hello, how you doing? And this is location of Game of Thrones. Hello, hello. Game of Thrones location. And see it's like a triangle almost. Not really a circle, huh? No. <laughs> okay, the shape was something unique. Something. Yeah, look at it. Looks like a triangle with a head, yeah? It's crazy. Triangle with a head. So look at all these. We're in the basement of the caves here. I mean, of the fortress. We're going through all these little caves. Absolutely wow. Look at this place. Wow. Look at this. This was built of a. The Venetian Empire built this. Look at this, wow. And this was the safest one. This was impregnable as this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> but look at this. Woo. It's actually crazy down here. It's huge. Look at this. This is um, where all the cannonballs used to be stored. And then they shoot them out the windows here. Oh, damn. Damn, I'm getting shook by all the pigeons. But I got to find the wifey. I got a little too excited and I'm I'm everywhere right now. So where I just was was the prison downstairs and also the protection windows. They used to shoot the cannonballs at the enemies coming in by boat. Oh man, so now I'm going upstairs to Terrace to check it out, look at these. It's absolutely insane. It's insane here. Wow, look how big this. It's not that big actually. But it is beautiful. Croatia has lots of these kind of places, these fortresses. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at a viewpoint here. <sighs> and they got the sunlight down here to get into the fortress, which is cool. <sighs> it's beautiful here. It's, right, it's like a little island. I forget the island's name is Lubenica or something. Oh, that's watermelon. Something like that. Lubenica. We'll call it Lubenica. Oh man, look at this. So look at the viewpoint. Sink it, sink the boat, sink the boat. Imagine just being up here plucking people off by boat, by boat, by boat. The Germans, huh? The Germans. Standing on top of the fortress walls. I don't think I'm allowed to be here. They sure knew how to pick a spot. Yeah, beautiful, nice location to sit here, having barbecue, defending your country. Like nothing's going on, huh? Wow. There's so much history. You can read up on this place. I don't think people come to my channel to listen to me to talk about history because they usually don't like that. But we'll spit a few facts throughout this video. But it's like wow here, it's cool. And there's Mickey and Enzo. So now we're getting down and uh, let's go. There we go, baby. So right here, you're looking at an empty terrace, but there used to be a small little village here. Houses, chapels, stores, everything, right? Yeah, they could cook here, but because they have a, a, a oven and everything. And also you can see over there, there used to be a, a, a canyons. Cannons, yes. Cannons, that. <laughs> yeah, they used to have cannons in the bo in bottom and everything where they used to make the balls and store the balls. These are wells for water here that you're looking at. And then, yeah, this used to be a whole little system. A yes. whole little war system. With more than uh, 30 soldiers living here. 
Bam. And then plus probably this island that is connected to was probably inhabited like you see in this picture. It looks like it was all inhabited, the little islands around. Yeah. And uh, that's obviously Shibani here. Yeah. And, uh, and also because of the shape of the fortress, it was impenetrable. How do you say it in English? Impenetrable. That. You have it like a mushroom, it says. <laughs> With the head. Its everything. defense was impregnable, like Mike Tyson once said. <laughs> Early on in the video, I mentioned that there's other heritage sites that were connected to this one, and here they are, the other four, and there are five connected. So that's pretty cool. This one's in Montenegro, this one's in Austria, this one's obviously in Croatia, this one's in Croatia, this one's probably in Spain, and Bergamo. I don't know where Bergamo is, but it probably could be in Germany or something, who knows, right? But there's a few, there's a few cool facts about this place. We mentioned a lot of them, but Look at the trail gear. Yes, <laughs> these one are all the heri war heritage sites Croatia. in Croatia. We have a split, we've been there. Yes, yeah, so here's all the world heritage Croatia. Split, Dubrovnik, Old City, Plitvice, been there. We haven't been to Porch yet. Yeah, uh, trail gear, we live there basically. Shibanik, we're here now. Stargrad Plain, haven't been there. Steci, haven't been there. I don't know if this is Pernil Beach Forest. Yeah, we haven't been here either. And uh, I think that's it for the Croatian ones, just those ones. So there's what, two, four, six, eight, eight heritage sites maybe? Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a lot in a small country with only like 3.9 billion, uh, million people, not billion. 3.9 million people, that's like less than all of Toronto maybe, you know? So put that in perspective. If my memory serves me right, eight is not the only amount of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in uh, Croatia. I think there's a lot more. They don't even have this place on there, and this says UNESCO on the outside, so there's lots of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. I don't know how many to be exact. Somebody mentioned down in the comments. If, you're wrong. if, the, if it's only eight, it's only eight, but I don't think so. I think there's way more. I know it's hard to see in there, but there's the gunpowder and ammunition room. So they used to store the gunpowder and ammunition in here. And this was also the prison. See, as you held these guys in shackles here. Shackles, I say, I say shackles. Wow. This is the prison and also the ammunition room. So if you threw a match down here, bye bye prisoners. Whoa, what's this room? Yes. The next door is the uh, ammunition room and the prison. Ooh. Look at this place. All the daily rain comes through here. It's still dripping. It just dripped on me now. Jesus. Mm. Must have been a terrible job. So here is the gunpowder and ammunition room. There used to be a guard here that uh, would watch the ammunition because the people who were held prisoner here they'd be held prison for like talking out loud or speaking their peace or speaking their mind or their views or opening up so if you talk too much you get sent here shackled up and they say oh you're gonna be tried for treason and the trial never comes so you just sit here and rot basically and the prisoner guard the virtual prisoner guard just mentioned that it's actually a very good job to work here because the fortress is so strong and they're not worried about being killed or attacked because it's too strong here and nobody would keep coming back because they have like these things these pulley systems that throw nets in the water to catch submarines and it was so well thought of you know it's crazy the way that the technology whoever thought of this this is one crazy design and they even they even took their time out to put some floral designs over here they made some flowers out of bricks you know what i mean it's weird for a, a military base but that's it for St. Nicholas Forestress. I think we're going on to somewhere else, but I'm not sure. But if that's it for the video, like, subscribe, share, and always comment. And remember, don't be shy to donate to my PayPal. This is Bonjo at gmail.com. Let's go. This is the Bonjo Show. This is not your show. I traded the 905 for G-O-O-Bo. This is Bonjo Show.